Summary of Ricky Tikki Tavi by Rudyard Kipling. The story is about the great war that Ricky Tikki Tavi, a mongoose, and two cobras fought in the garden of an English family living in the Indian region of Segali. The name Ricky Tikki comes from the war cry that he makes while he is running through the long grass. One day, a flood washes Ricky Tikki out of his hole and onto the garden path of an English family's house. They take him in and care for him. When Teddy, a young English boy, finds Ricky Tikki, he thinks he is dead, but Teddy's mother thinks Teddy is still alive. The mongoose gets better quickly after being dried off inside the house. Ricky Tikki starts to look around the house because he is fearless, like all his kind. He also climbs on Teddy's shoulder, which worries Teddy's mother. But Teddy's dad reassures her that he won't hurt Teddy and that the mongoose actually keeps snakes away. Ricky Tikki sleeps in Teddy's bed at night, but he goes outside whenever he hears a noise to check it out. The next day, he goes to check out the yard, which is still mostly wild and overgrown. Darzi, a taller bird, and his wife are crying because one of their kids fell out of the tree. The chick was eaten by a cobra named Nag, and as soon as the birds talk about it, it shows up. Nag spreads his hood out and tells Ricky Tikki to be scared. He says that the god Brahm gave him his black and white marks. When Darzi blinks and sounds the alarm, Ricky Tikki jumps into the air to avoid Nag's mate Nagena's sneak attack. He rolls over on his back and bites her, but because he hasn't fought cobras before, it doesn't quite kill her. The cobras run off into the brush, leaving her hurt and angry. As Ricky Tikki walks back to the house, she sees Karite, a baby snake in the dust, making threats to bite Teddy. The baby is faster than his parents, which makes him more dangerous. But Ricky Tikki doesn't know that, so she quickly kills the baby before it can hurt the boy. Ricky Tikki finds it funny that Teddy's dad comes out to beat the body, even though the snake is already dead. His family is very thankful, and the mongoose likes all the attention, but he knows the cobras are still out there. He checks the house after the family goes to bed and meets Chuchundra, the scared muskrat. Despite being very scared of Ricky Tikki, he tells them an important fact, they can hear the sound of snake scales moving across the bathroom drain. If you follow the sound to its source, you can hear the two cobras scheming outside the house. They plan to kill the people, which will make the mongoose leave the house and let them and their young rule the yard. Nag hides in a water jug to wait for Teddy's dad, but the mongoose is close and sees him. She waits for Nag to fall asleep and then hits him in the base of the neck. As the snake tries to shake him off, he holds on for dear life until Teddy's dad fires his gun and stops the attack. Ricky Tikki is shocked for a moment, but Teddy's dad says the little monkey has saved everyone. Ricky Tikki finally makes it back to Teddy's room in time for bed. He wakes up the next morning stiff but ready to fight Nagena. People in the yard have heard that Nag has died, so he goes back there. Ricky Tikki asks Darzi to show him where Nagena's egg nest is, and then he tells Darzi to act hurt to get Nagena to leave. Even though Darzi doesn't think it's right to attack the cobra's nest, his wife does. She convinces the snake to leave her nest by acting like one of her wings is broken. The mongoose uses the noise to its advantage and kills the eggs in the nest. He's almost done when Darzi's wife calls him and says Nagena wants to kill Teddy and his family. Ricky Tikki runs back to the house with the last egg as a bargaining chip. At the breakfast table, Nagena is making threats to the humans. He escapes being hit by her while Teddy's dad gets his gun by giving her the last egg. Nagena grabs her last egg and runs into her snake hole, but Ricky Tikki follows her down with courage. If you think that's the end of Ricky Tikki, think again. He comes out in the end, having killed the cobra and saved the yard. The yard animals praise the mongoose while he sleeps after his big fight. When he wakes up, he goes back to the house and eats from the table and gets lots of love from people. But he stays alert and makes sure that the house is never attacked by snakes after that. About the author. Rudyard Kipling was born in Bombay, India, in 1860. At that time, India was part of the British Empire. As an Anglo-Indian, Kipling had a difficult relationship with both India and England as a child. 
He often wrote about these problems in his stories. While he was at private school in England, he became interested in writing because he missed his family and was treated badly. He went back to India to finish school and quickly got a job at a small newspaper in an area that is now part of Pakistan. For his first six years of work, from 1883 to 1889, he wrote for newspapers. It was there that his first short stories and articles were published. Between 1887 and 1889, he published six collections of short stories. These books were successful enough for him to start a full-time writing job. In 1892, he married Caroline Bailstye. They lived in America for a while before moving back to Britain in 1896. He wrote books like The Jungle Book, Captain's Courageous, and Just So Stories while he was there and became one of England's most famous authors. He was the first British author to win the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1907. While he was alive, he wrote many great works during the late Romantic period. He died in 1936. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.